Hello viewers, welcome to another video of Exploring Bali. Wondering how to spend a day in Bali and where all to visit? Then this video will definitely be helpful to you. This is a small glimpse of the places we visited on our day 3 in Bali. Please do watch the full video for detailed information about all the places. In my previous videos, I have reviewed about our day-long trip to temples, viewpoints, waterfalls, adventure rides, Bali swing, Bali massage and most Instagram spots in Bali. Detailed video of these are given in the description as well as in the info card and card of this video. We started our next day with some local shopping in Obud village. After finishing our shopping, we then headed to another hottest Instagram spots in the world. We then headed to the Pura Ulandanu temple in Bali. This temple is an awesome piece of architecture that is situated up in the mountains, around 1200 meters above sea level, sitting at the edge of a lake. It took our driver about 2 hours from Ubud to get there uphill. This temple can be found on their 50,000 Indonesian rupiah bank note as well. The traffic going up was little heavy and we took much longer. But the drivers got us there on time to this temple. This is the parking area of the temple. Once we reached, there was a local Balinese ceremony that was happening there and people were going inside the temple. We can see the whole family along with small children as well in Balinese costume. There is an entry fee of 75,000 Indonesian rupiah per person to this place. The usually opening hours are from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on all days. You can experience incredible views and most picturesque spots here. Through the temple gates, you will come across the typical Balinese architectural features with tiered shrines. This temple was built in the 17th century to worship the Hindu trinity Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva and the lake goddess Devi Danu. The temple grounds are spread out with lush green vegetation. The sight and cool atmosphere of this Balinese upland temple have made the lake and this temple a favorite sightseeing and recreational spot. Naturally, it's a frequently photographed site. There are well laid out pathways leading to the edge areas of the Baratin Lake. The location is scenic and a very good photo spot in Bali. We also visited the famous Ulandano coffee shop inside the temple premises for some snacks before we started from there. There are a few other restaurants as well inside this temple premises. The place has many other public facilities like a restroom, small shops for souvenirs and even ATM as well at the entrance. While returning, you can see a lot of people selling fresh fruits and vegetables along the lakeside and downhill as well. It's definitely worth purchasing those fresh vegetables and drying them. Do not miss these locations when visiting the Pura Vanandano temple. After visiting the temples, it is now time to visit one more waterfall and for some partying at the same place. If you are looking for a waterfall to visit without any hassle of trekking up and down the steps, this is definitely the pace for you, the Tegunangan waterfall. We reached one of the famous day clubs near Ubud around evening and settled in there. Hello. 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 Good evening. Yeah, two of us. Would you like some for a drink here? Yeah. Sit down. 
Apart from the Tegunandan waterfall, they do have other small waterfalls, the river through which the water flows. Overall, a beautiful overview for your eyes to feast on. Most of the clubs in Bali will require a minimum spend if you choose to sit at one of the tables. Of course, you can also opt for a seat in their free seating areas, which are most likely the dining or the bar areas. The Oma Day Club Perfect place to party with friends and family. This is a beautiful day club that is situated near the Tegunangan waterfall near Ubudan, Bali. To enter the entrance of Oma, there is a small fee to pass through the local village where Oma is built. It's around 20,000 Indonesian rupiah. This day club has three different floors with different types of tables to be opted for, ordering food and beverages. We initially opted for the bamboo restaurant at the first floor. Apart from this bamboo floor, once you go down to the next floor, they have their courtyard, the gazebo, the pizza area, as well as the lounge or side lounge area, the day bed or sunbed area, as well as the pool side or swimming pool. They do have the VVIP lounge as well. The DJ was on and all were partying. We loved the music they played there. Overall, it was a pretty good experience with good vibes all around. The food was also awesome. I think it is relatively affordable. As long as you come up with a few friends, you will be able to hit the minimum spend for the tables. Each and every floor has their separate bar and seating area. We hung around the pool area as well and just chilled there for a few hours. I love that the pool has a great vantage over the waterfalls. You may want to go for a swim first before ordering any food. It's always advisable. The best part about this place is the viewpoint that you get here. It's definitely a place for you to chill and relax with your friends. Since they can get pretty crowded, especially over the weekend, it's always advisable that you reserve tables.
after finishing our dinner we then headed back to our resort to take rest let me know in the comment section which part of this video you like the most until then don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's just a click away and it will motivate us to make more interesting videos keep watching my other videos as well see you all in my next vlog about bali